Hey guys, what's going on? This is Sergeant Merrill and I am back. <laughs> the new computer is up and running and I couldn't be more happy with it. I'm really, really happy that I finally got this fucking thing together. <laughs> I'm really excited about the, uh, the future too because with this type of like just beastly machine behind me, I'm going to be able to produce, produce content a lot more quickly and I think a lot more efficiently. So before... A video like this would take me about an hour to render, and I think those days are gone. <laughs> it was a huge pain in the ass to get this thing together because I ordered all of it off of Newegg.com and uh, put it together with the help of my brother to save some money. And as some of you may know, when you're putting a new computer together, uh, things rarely ever go as you predicted. <laughs> uh, some drivers don't work right, some RAM sticks may be bad. Uh, sometimes you need more, more fans because your GPU is overheating. Uh, sometimes you didn't get the right power supply. It's just a mess to troubleshoot if anything goes wrong in it. And it took us a while. It took us about five days uh, from beginning to end. But a lot of you guys were really supportive throughout the entire process. And I truly, truly appreciate that. I know I got a, a couple messages, uh, not just on Twitter, but on Skype also. Because I'm really good about accepting people's Skype requests. Um, and they were just letting me know, hey man, I feel your pain, I put the PC together, just stick in there, you know, just, just stay motivated. And, uh, you know, I really enjoyed getting messages like that. But honestly, um, while I did get frustrated a few times, I was mostly motivated throughout the entire process of putting this shit together because I'm all about taking things to the next level. I'm about pushing boundaries and, and seeing what more can be done to be a better commentator. And to some degree, I'm glad that what I do uh, can be difficult and is difficult on a consistent basis because in my mind in my mind uh, I'm thinking that's another step where someone else gave up and uh, I think I think of this whole Commentary YouTube game <laughs> as a as a battlefield and you have to keep moving forward to get the glory and, and some people at some point they stop moving forward they think they're getting enough action where they are and they can just cover down and stay put and things are going to be great. And I'll never be so content. Because before you know it, someone's going to low crawl their way past you. And you're going to get left behind and wonder, what the hell? <laughs> and uh, and this, this computer um, is one of my ways that I'm going, to, I'm going to stay on top. Now, a lot of people have been asking about the, the specs of this computer. Um, and you can find all of it on twitch.tv slash Sergeant Merrill. Because I put the entire thing together... Uh, in a live stream <laughs> and I you know I was sitting there when I'm doing this I'm, I'm live streaming I'm thinking this is ridiculous nobody's gonna watch this <laughs> you know I'm, I, I've got this head cam on and I'm putting this computer together I'm like this is this this is stupid <laughs> and before I know it I have like 200 people in the live stream I normally have like 30 uh, 200 people in the live stream watching this thing and it was like it was like dork heaven <laughs> it was like nerdvana is what I would call it, because uh, everyone's like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, put that screw in the motherboard. And I'm, <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is getting kind of weird. <laughs> but seriously, if, uh, if you're not already, I know I say this all the time, but if you're not following me on my live stream, you're missing out, guys, especially now more than ever, because I'm able to stream in some awesome quality. And... I'm still trying to work, get it into HD, and, and that's a challenge in and of itself because it's more than just your processor when you're trying to stream in HD. It comes down to your internet connection. It comes down to uh, what program you're using, what settings you're using, what drivers you have. It, it gets really, really tricky to stream in high definition, but I have what I believe to be one of the best quality uh, streams out there. So if you're not following me already, head over to twitch.tv slash Sergeant Merrill so you don't miss out on that sort of stuff. Uh, because I do daily streams, and it's one of my favorite ways to hang out with my subscribers because it's, it's my time to just play a game, hang, hang out with you guys, you know, answer questions. And I really, really encourage you, if you're uh, a fan of any of my work, uh, to check it out. Now, another thing has occurred to me, and I haven't been able to do this for a long time. But with this new PC, I'm going to be able to play some of the latest games on the maximum settings I think for the next three to four years <laughs> and uh, and it brings this question it like brings the ability to play games 
on more than just the console, and I'm a little worried about it. I'm not sure if that's a route that I should take. Um, so far, I've been playing Battlefield 3 Beta on the PC, and it's different. It's not bad. The graphics are better, but I don't know if I like the flow of it. Um, and that's just me being a console gamer for the past four to five years. Um, you know, that's just one of the drawbacks, is that you get used to everybody using, uh, you know, a, a controller. Uh, so, you, so you notice things that, that happen. You can depend on certain movements uh, and, and some bad aiming. And that just doesn't happen with the PC. It's a whole new, uh, you know, type of game. And, and so this question has been raised on what games I should play on the PC. And I've been thinking about it. And I think I'm going to get Battlefield and, uh, and Call of Duty and stick with the Xbox for now. Um, unless I just have some epiphany <laughs> on how to play better on the PC and, and go to it. Um, but a game I'm truly excited for now that I have the ability to play on the maximum settings is Skyrim. You know, uh, that's a single player game to begin with, but uh, that game I know is going to be infinitely better on the PC than, than on the Xbox. Uh, just because it's, it's single player. You're not missing out on the, on the competitive nature of the Xbox or... or you know, the type of players that you're used to on the Xbox, I should say, because PC players can be extremely competitive. Um, but it, it, it's going to be so much better on the PC. And I'm not just talking graphics. Graphics already, I'm expecting to be just phenomenal with the graphics card that I have right now. But I'm also talking about mods. That's another thing that you miss out with uh, on the consoles that I'm excited to dig into. You know, I see all these people using these, these modded forms of the game, and it looks exciting. It looks great. It looks awesome. Something to, to switch it up. If you haven't seen the Star Wars mod for Call of Duty 4, it's so fun. And it's something that I think console gamers, uh, unfortunately, uh, have to miss out on because it's just not a, a capability on the Xbox or, or consoles in general. Um, and that's a shame. It really is. Um, but I want you guys to get involved in this question. Which games would you rather play on PC uh, than on the console? Now, each has their own drawbacks and benefits. I don't want this to be a war against what's better, the PC or the console. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, look at the benefits of both, and which games would you like for it? But that's all I have. This is Sergeant Merrill, out here.